Hello smart and hardworking people, how's your week going? Well mine's going pretty decent, I had a couple trades and ideas that are working so far in, my di in the direction I expected, but today I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you something that just came up and I don't want to let you pass on this idea because I know that you're working, you're smart and you're working hard but it's not quite there yet for you. So you want to leverage yourself a little bit and you want to explore an asset class that everybody you know, wants to, talks about it, but no one is actually showing you exactly how to squeeze it, how to really grab some gains here and there. So today, in this video, I'm going to explain more about gold, what is happening with gold. And I'm about to say something that gold bugs may, may not like, but sadly, sorry guys, gold is about to crash between $80 to $120. That's it, 80, and it can go as low as $120 from the levels we're trading right now. You don't believe me? <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Get ready, because with price rotation here at the War Room, I'm going to show you exactly how that is going to happen. Okay, so before I begin, as usual, I just want to let you know, we all have got to be responsible, okay? So remember, investing and trading, they're both risk ventures that doesn't mean that you cannot make money what it does mean is that you got to be responsible you have to take care of your uh, daily commitments first okay especially if you have a family so before you commit any money okay make sure it's risk capital what that's supposed to mean that means that you're you're investing your training with money that you can afford to lose not exactly again being very specific that you're going to lose money but if that happens, it will not affect your day-to-day -day lifestyle, okay? And one more thing, past performance, that's right, does not constitute present and future performance. Now, having said that, let's begin. I'm going to go directly to the charts. I'm going to start with a small position. I'm uh, suggesting that you go and use the vehicle uh, defined XAUSD. Uh, trading platforms may may not have it. Uh, exactly the way it is. I have it on this one, uh, which is Avatrade. Uh, they are a company in Ireland. And right now, price is pretty standard, it's just uh, moving away from previous high and not too far away, $15, $11 for gold. And the illustration I want to have in this video is the fact we're going to lose, uh, we're going to go for one standard lot, and that equals we're risking $1,000. $605, um, just let me write it so we all are on the same, uh, we got to be on the same page. The risk will be $1,660 per one standard lot. And then uh, our win potential, our probability, what I'm, uh, let me just go back. Uh, the win, okay, risk, 1660 And my potential profit, probability I may mean for five thousand six hundred dollars to do that uh, pretty much if you have this you can do that with a four thousand dollar account it depends if you decide to go with this idea and short gold using uh, trading futures investing on in futures contracts you may need more for the maintenance of the contract itself so please uh, do consider that okay okay no this is just positive ah. plus five thousand six hundred dollars win potential um, this idea will be perfect for those that can trade cfds uh, out of europe for those in the us canada i will suggest again uh, measure exactly what will be the value of the gold contract in futures and make sure you understand the conditions remember derivative products at uh, cfds for europe and for north america futures they may not may not be suitable for all all investors so make sure you understand your risk profile before you uh, decide to do that right okay so this is what I'm looking as far as opportunities and I already have my trading you can do the same uh, we're not trading equities so therefore I can decide show you exactly what I'm doing and then you may may not do it okay we don't I don't have to follow rules when I'm just uh, like when I'm discussing equities or call options put options now what we're looking is uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, MT4 from Avatrade um, in South America Chile and when we're looking at the price rotation, first off, price rotation matters. And what it does for you is to, to guide you 
into what is the real transaction? Where is the value of the transaction? Now, if we go all the way back to July 2016, we have a range value for all transactions when it comes to gold. It goes all the way from 1,376 an ounce all the way down to this level, 1,125 an ounce. What that means is that real transactions have been conducted for the last, what, uh, two and a half years? That's right, two and a half years. So for almost two and a half years, two and a half years, the price of gold have been rotating in this area until uh, back in July again, uh, it broke all the way from 1,260, that was the bottom, this is a key bottom, and it's rotating now. What, we, what I do is that I, I project that rotation and once I have the break breakout, in this case the break up, I then take the projection and sort of create a map. And this map is helping me to trade where is going gold. Now, the problem is that in the middle we also are going to have uh, what we call, uh, well, the, the price is exhausted. So I'll call it exhaustion. And once it's exhausted, it has to correct. So remember, market efficiency looks something like this. Go up, goes up, down, then up, continue. A little bit did, it can come up. You have a, almost a double bottom here, and then it goes up. Sort of that, you can call it market efficiency. A market is a, a market itself lacks efficiency when it does something like this, because the rate because the day to day trader, the day to day investor, the day to day smart, hardworking individual like you uh, don't really know what to do here. You don't really know what to do with this line. If this is as a class, when do you get in? There's no a clear eye-blowing opportunity that you say okay you see these and then you see the price coming all the way you are like okay this is a serious pullback if there's a continuation to the uptrend okay let me buy here it doesn't happen like in this section it, it doesn't happen so if it doesn't happen you never invest you always wait for oh it's not filling filling my buy limit order okay i'm not getting in because i need to buy a better price remember Buy low, sell high. So right now, if we're actually looking and the final rotation is $1,616, probably a little bit higher. If you're looking at this, are you going to buy it right now? Too expensive. You would rather buy at a cheaper price. So what I'm expecting now is a minor rotation. And that minor rotation, and as, as I will explain in details in the next couple seconds, can go as low as 1380 that's how low it may go but before that there are two levels that i want to, you to take a, pay attention okay let me show you let me go to my daily chart and here we are now always always make sure you work with the 50 exponential moving average at least on the daily chart exponential moving average at least on the at daily chart because it will help you to determine where is the trend now Obviously, the trend is up. However, we have these levels here. These lower levels, at least to me, are indicating that gold is facing massive challenges. First, one was at 1,555, which it did here. And as, as you can see, we can talk a little bit of short patterns, patterns. And this one, for example, can be called head and shoulders. Shoulder one, shoulder two, and this is the head okay pretty basic now what matters the most and i want you to pay attention is the last price action price is everything same as volume in this in this in this video i'm just talking about price when you see how at least in this area you see how prices couldn't break above 1530 per ounce but we what we just have to consider is why okay and i will let you know why because there's something that a lot a lot of investors a lot of analysts uh, tend to fail they don't uh, um they don't review they don't analyze as a correlation as a correlation is very important so besides price rotation which is the main core analysis strategy that i that i do i always look at what other leading indicators may be around maybe out there that will guide you into 
a better trade, a better inve inve investment. Now, the reason why I'm short is because I know that the DXY US dollar index is actually trading higher and that is boosting. Now, besides the technical factor here that we know, we also have another fundamental view and is that the dollar is strengthening and it has been that for an almost entire 2019. A couple back and forth there, sideways for the US dollar, but overall the US dollar has been the currency to own in 2019. That may be coming to an end. Not yet. We're not yet. We're about to, but not yet. So right now what I want to know is with the magic of my uh, keywords here on my computer, I'm just going to show you this. Voila. And then we have the different levels. How I got to this conclusion. Now, the first trade will be this one, the short one. Let me take the pencil if I can get it. This is the number one and this is number two. On the number one, we're looking at 1,452. There is about 50 pips, 50 points profit. And on the second one, I'm looking all the way for you to go, uh, for gold to go down, crash about $80. It could be actually 60, well, 70, $78, but call it $80. And then I will explain at the end of this video why I think there's a lot of probability that worst case we go to this level and I would love to see gold at $1,380 because this will be a massive buy opportunity for all of us. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure you're taking notes. I'm going to show you how I do this. Now, as I shared with all of you, price rotation matters. It gives you an idea where prices are, um, executed and the reality is that gold at the end of the day is just a what is gold really uh, for some it's a is a vehicle to transfer wealth but gold is whether you like it or not a commodity you just this pencil is very hard to work with commodity okay so companies they have a real need for gold it's not like even if you were to have a couple million dollars, at the end of the day, you're still speculating with gold because you don't really need gold to do anything. You don't do anything with it, okay? So if you don't do anything with it, you are like me and we're pretty much speculating, looking to grab some gains here and there. That's what we're doing. But the reality is that these levels, they are transaction costs that big players are establishing and we want to follow those. Now, the new established price will be around these two areas and in the middle. That's the rotation. That's what they're willing to pay based on the economy standards right now. And that's it, whether you like it or not. And I say this because we like to project and have ideas of what things supposed to be, not to trade exactly what is in front of us. Right now, we're trading a bullish rotation. And this rotation goes from 1,380 all the way, will go and will hit 1,000. 620 uh, just call it 20 okay now let's go back to the daily chart what i want to know now is what is going to happen as price rotate to minor levels now i have to project so i take the level this is the ground level of this minor rotation it goes from 1490 all the way to 1530 then i do another box here we are have the box and then Past the breakout, in this case the breakdown, I will establish my projections. So this is the level. We're still a couple a couple points. So if you are looking for an intraday, intraday tra uh, trade idea, then you are still looking to go short all the way to 1,490 at least for the day. And once we have an open break below this level, then we'll look for the next continuation that goes all the way down to 1,442 an ounce. So that will be an opportunity of 46 points. Now, what is your risk? Your risk at this point, it will be set based on the entry, 1,506, and it goes all the way to this high, 1,536. You have $30 risk, 30 points risk, and you're looking for this level, 63 points. That gives you two to one risk reward. So that will be for the first trade. Right there, you have two to one on the first trade and it makes sense it's a perfect idea for your money of course now on the second trade what do we want i'm just let me 
let me move this a little bit organize this a little bit better and here we go now i need to go for the second rotation where is the second rotation the projection goes from this high the 1555 i take second projection now i have it and from the breakout again the base this is the base uh, let's call it for the sake uh, those of you that are familiar we will call this at this time our point of control 1490 we got it there perfect this will be our point of control and as soon as we break to the downside to the downside the point of control then we have all this and then we will have the opportunity for what could lead to be a minor rotation now having said that what we're looking at in this case what is the, what is the value that we're looking from this entry we're looking at almost 80 dollars 80 points profit and a risk will be about 49. now in this case we don't have a perfect risk reward ratio we can probably adjust that just to 40 to make it two to one but it all depends on the risk your risk tolerance okay and at makes sense because we, i just have to guide you show you the step by step how i'm positioning myself and then you can adjust it to your risk capital i don't know exactly the size of your account so you have to come up with a number that makes sense for you all right now these are the levels we have question where from i get the even lower 1380 i will explain that to you right away now just let me remove the pencil and go to the monthly chart as i mentioned to you the real explosion happened from 1260 and that was sometime in july let me just double check that was may well actually it's may made a mistake there it was may and it comes by applying let me just zoom it applying trend fibonacci we have the bottom somewhere here back into 2018 and as you can see we had a confluence between the 50 exponential moving average on the monthly chart and the 50 percent fibonacci 1263 260 and then you have the projection goes all the way so that part was easy and I actually had a video that i explained that a couple months ago now what we do is that from that confluence we take fibonacci we do that we ex expand the fibonacci and by the projection we know that the 61.8 percent sits at one 1377 rounded up 80. so if that's how uh, as low as i can see in 2019 the uh, gold trading versus the us dollar and from the high that will be almost 178 dollars from where we are right now that will be all the way down that will be almost 120 dollars 139 dollars give and take so that's what we have to consider it can go even lower now of course the most important to remember is that as long as it doesn't break the 61.8 percent fibonacci we are in a bullish trend and we're still targeting 1620 and re remember that's that's the that's the north that's where you're heading now just to close this video just to uh, let you go i know you have things to do you have a busy day i want to remind you why most analysts out there they are missing the point gold for the first time is about to go all the way back to july july uh, well actually to 2017's level and that's all the way back to 100 and the first thing is that it's gonna hit 99.20 after 99.20 may we may have a small retracement in, in this area as long as it stays above 98 98.20 we have the opportunity and we're heading all the way up to 110 150 that will take us all the way back to levels um in the first uh, that were actually traded in the first half of 2017. this is very important because you need to pay attention they will this will drag down gold will drag drag down gold and also you will have opportunities on the british pound british pound and also you will have opportunities to go short the euro please take notes and make sure you are positioning yourself to maximize your risk capital these opportunities are about to take place 
they're already building up and this is exactly how I am expecting go to uh, at least in the case of gold how I'm expecting let me just go back to let me go back if I have it uh, okay let me remove the pencil okay here we are and let me go back to the chart chart uh, category here gold and let me go back to the daily and here we are and that's exactly how I'm expecting gold in two trades first trade will be this one where you have an expectation uh, again let me share with you I'm expecting go as low as uh, one one thousand four hundred and forty four it's about sixty dollars opportunity sixty points and this will be my trade where I expect it to go as low as eighty dollars all the way back to one thousand four hundred twenty five don't forget there's massive support at the sixty one point eight percent Fibonacci sitting at one thousand three hundred and eighty and this is exactly how you will see gold behaving at least from my perspective in the next four weeks thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to our channel markets traders daily i will be back tomorrow with more information from the war room and remember never risk your house never risk the house for pennies